Hello everybody. Welcome once again. My name is Chinyeke and this is Papa Tart Ministry. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining. I'm grateful for the opportunity that you stop by. So Papa Tart Ministry is basically a platform where we share God's word and God's love for his people per season per time. And um, this season is, um, is a time where we are having a Thanksgiving season. So it's Christmas. It's Christmas holiday, yes. But it's a time where we are having a series of um, 18 days of Thanksgiving to the Lord. And so I want to share something with you today. So what am I grateful for today? I'm grateful because I'm saying thank you to the Lord for something that He did for me. It's still a work in progress, but I want to say thank you to the Lord for it. So, what am I thankful for? By the way, if this is your first time, thank you for joining. And if it's not your first time, I want to say thank you for being here and for all the times you have been here. Thank you so much. So, for a couple of years, there's something that I have trusted the Lord for in my personal life and I say it as a young woman or single young lady and I have just the Lord for and I have prayed and I have worked with the Lord and I have focused on obedience and do the things that God wants me to do. Um, for some reason this season I noticed that um, there was a bit of challenge around that area in my life and I experienced that challenge. So and things did not happen exactly as I expected, things did not happen exactly as I wanted and I began to to worry and I began to ask the Lord what do I do, what steps do I take but in the midst of while I'm praying, while I'm seeking the Lord while I'm, what, what I'm most grateful for in this, in this process is that things didn't happen how I wanted it and then I discovered that things have changed from what the initial information that I have got. But I remember that that early hours of the morning, I got the information. The first thing that came to my mind was just to say thank you, Lord. I didn't start getting upset. I didn't start getting angry or reacting to different things. All I was saying was to say thank you, Jesus, for for this situation. And I remember that I left my room and I went downstairs to take water. It was in the middle of the night. I wanted to take something cold to drink. And the only song that was as though the Lord would allow the song in my spirit, and all that was coming to me was. Um, the song was the song that was going to my um, is saying, um, "What have you not done for me? What have you not done for me?" And it's, it was saying to the Lord, "Lord, I cannot be upset on this matter because what you have done so much for me. What is it that you have not done for me? So I cannot hold the spirit of God because this did not work. I cannot judge in this character because this did not work out." And I came back after I told my sister about it. She was going to get angry, but I said, No, I want to say thank you to God. He allowed it. And just before I got the message online, I had gotten up to wake up to pray, and my sister was playing a message. By, um, was playing a message, and I was listening to that message. And the message was just ministered to me. So it was as though the Lord allowed me to hear that message before I discovered that um, this, uh, um, that disappointing situation and so I just decided that word came back and just blessed me and helped me not to worry about it so I, I went to bed that night knowing that okay this is the situation but I chose to trust the Lord I chose to just keep my mind on Him and not let anything bother me at all and the truth is Days passed. By the following day, I was supposed to start 10 days fast for my those on Papa Tat Ministry platform for the end of the year, and I had to begin that fasting. I had to bring everyone through the fasting. But at private times, I, I remember coming to the Lord and saying, Lord, I want to talk to you about this matter. I want to speak to you. And the Lord just gave me a word and said, Oh Lord, I'm, 
I'm raising a free and creating another opportunity for you. I don't want you to be worried about this. I have a perfect thing for you. And I'm here today, um, a week after that, and I'm, I'm just grateful to the Lord that the Lord has helped me to build on that. Because one of the words that the Lord gave to me, the Lord said to me, the Lord said, when Adam made an error and made a mistake, he said, Adam did not come back to say, Lord, I am sorry, can you help me in this situation? And to show that the Lord still went after Adam, God even went after his son Cain. But Cain did not want to listen, they wanted to do things their own way. And the Lord also said to me, Oh, that even when Saul, King Saul, messed up and didn't work out, he said, since Saul did not come back to apologize to ask me for help or talk to me about it, but what the Lord said, she may say, when this thing went on in your life, you didn't go about talking to people, you didn't go about mourning or grumbling or murmuring or being upset. Instead, you came to talk to me about this difficult situation. You trusted me with it. He said, because of that, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm raised up something better for you. And that is what I want to say, Lord, that if I find you faithful, I am grateful that you have built me to the point that no matter what I am going through in my entire life, I always come back to you. I never go to man to talk to anybody. I don't even talk to my siblings or anyone. First person, and the only person I ever talk to about any challenge in my life is the Holy Spirit. I want to say thank you, Lord, that you built me, you trained me to this level to get to that point where it is you alone you trust with my entire life and it's you alone that I can always fall back to no matter what is going on. So do you have do you have you built yourself to this level with the Holy Spirit? Because if you have not, there are so many things that the enemy will throw at you, but you must learn to maintain the right attitude. Because the Bible said that Job went through a lot of challenges. The Bible said in all of this, Job did not sin. So I'm grateful that I can pass that test with the Lord, even though I didn't even know this was a test and that the Lord was watching my class and that the Lord said this to me that you did not mess up even when you were going through that situation. You came to me and said, for this reason, I am standing with you and the Lord keeps giving you words over and over. Every single day it's like he shows up morning, noon and night and he's just he's just building me in my spirit, helping me to be strong. And this is what I am called to say, Lord, I am grateful that you built me to the level where I am found faithful and worthy in your sight, even in difficult situations. So I want to encourage you, be steadfast with the Lord. And grow in your walk with Him to the point that no matter what you are going through, you stand faithful with Him and you trust Him. So thank you so much. I'm taking longer than I wanted to take, but I pray that if you have to please share, subscribe, and give share your comments. Or uh, even send an email if there is something you would like to, to pray. You have me to pray with you about. Send me an email and I'm trusting that the Lord will work with you. Thank you so much.